Welcome or welcome back. Today's video is going to be my July eyeshadow palette recap. This is my second month doing this video where basically I take a picture of every eyeshadow look that I do, write down the palette, and then in this video, I'll tell you every single palette that I used and show you the pictures of the looks. Some of these looks I did film for YouTube, so you can check those videos out. I will link some of them in the cards and the description box. There's actually quite a few, but if you're interested, you can check those out. I love eyeshadow palettes so much, and this is a way to kind of keep me accountable that I'm actually using my eyeshadow palettes. I upload four videos a week. Stay tuned for more. And if you like eyeshadow palette videos, check out my eyeshadow palette playlist. There's a lot of videos there. So let's get started. And I did redo my background. I felt like it was looking really messy with the shelves with the clothes. So I moved the shelf over here and took the clothes off. So it's like shoes and perfume and stuff, which I feel like looks less messy. But anyway, I like this kind of cleaner background for now. Anyway, all right, first up, I used this ColourPop The Coast is Clear palette. This is something I got in PR, and this one is so pretty, like taupey, mauve cool toned. I really, really enjoyed it, and I want to do more looks with that one. And then the other one also from this same collection, which I already saw that this collection is on sale at Ulta. These palettes are only $6 each. I think they are really good. Like I said, they sent these to me in PR. I have not heard a lot of people talk about them, but I think they're really pretty. It's called the Extra Celestial Collection, and they're kind of ethereal, and I really enjoy it. So this one is called Clearly in Love, which is also taupey and also some pink tones. Really, really like these, honestly. And then the third one that they sent me from that same collection that I wore is the Clear the Air palette. And this one is more peachy in toned. And I just think this is a really nice formula. I really liked these looks. I thought they were great. All right, I did do one look with the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. Some of these palettes I did do multiple looks with. Um, but so far all of these I've done one look with. Oh, and there's a lot because for last month's video, I did film it a few days early. So a few of the looks are from the very end of June. So there's a lot. All right, Patrick Top Major Dimension 2. Really love this palette. This one I did film a look and review on when it first came out and for this look, I definitely used, I love these two pink shimmers here and then these matte shades. I actually did not use the cream color bases for this look and I actually haven't used them since I bought the palette, which is kind of sad. I like them, but I think it's one of those, like it's an extra step type thing. So yeah, I need to get back into using those. Alrighty, and I did get eyeshadows in PR from Lethal Cosmetics. I did a whole video swatches and I did film the look that I'm going to show you with these eyeshadows. I also did some other looks just kind of playing around with it um, and using the different eyeshadows, but I didn't actually take pictures of those looks, but the look I've showed you, I did film and oh my gosh, Lethal Cosmetics. I am so impressed with that formula amazing check out my video if you want to know like which actual individual eyeshadows i picked out but i would totally buy more myself i'm really really impressed and i do have a coupon code if anyone is interested but i'm super impressed Alrighty, i used the natasha denona glam palette and i think i only used this one once and i did a pretty simple look using some of these lighter mattes and then some i think i used these lighter shimmers there it was a very easy simple eye look very nice i love this palette i think it is fantastic i am trying to get more use out of it in a project pan um but yeah i only used it one time this last month okay i'm also going to show you the eyeshadow palettes that are in my shop my stash I show these looks in my Shop My Stash videos too, so I won't spend too much time talking about these palettes, but the original Lorac Pro is in my Shop My Stash, and I did a couple looks that I really enjoyed. One was super easy. All I used is the shade Mauve all over the lid and in the crease, and I was in a hurry, but I like how it turned out. And then a more smoky look that I did that I thought was stunning this shade pewter all over the lid 
and then these darker mattes in the crease and outer corner. Wow, I loved it. And I actually put a little bit of these lighter shades in the inner corner on that look. That may be one of my favorites of the month. I just thought it was gorgeous, like absolutely amazing. Alrighty, and then the Melt Gemini 2. This is in my project 10 uses. So I'm trying to get more use out of this one too. And I only used this one once in the last month. Um, I did a very, very easy eyeshadow look where I just combined these three lightest mattes all over the lid and all over the crease. That's what I do when I'm in a ma major hurry is I usually take one or two matte eyeshadows and just put them all over. And that's it, call it a day. Really do love that palette. I need to use it more, really do. And that's why it's in my Project 10 uses, but there's a lot of palettes that I used this month. So there aren't a ton of palettes that I did multiple looks with. There's a couple, but like the Lorac Pro, which was in my Shop My Stash. And another one from my Shop My Stash that I did do multiple looks with is the bronze palette from Natasha Denona. This one is another beauty. I love warm tones. And I did one really simple eyeshadow look that I'm trying to remember. It was just a couple of these matte browns, like this one and this one. And I just put them, again, all over the lid and all over the crease, like I do when I'm in a hurry. But I thought it was really pretty. Um, and then I did a more involved look using some of the shimmers as well. and. I mean, pretty standard, like copper warm toned makeup, but I love that. So, you know, it's okay. So yeah, that one was in my shop, my stash. Um, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. Okay, this is one of my favorites of the month. I thought this was absolutely stunning. What I did was I used these two greens here. And then the mauvey purple shades are from the Sigma New Mod palette. And oh my gosh, I just thought this makeup was gorgeous. I absolutely loved it. So let me grab the Sigma palette um, because I don't think I did a whole look with either of these palettes. But yeah, I did this one where I combined them. And yeah, so I just used these two mattes in the crease and outer corner with the green shimmers from the Smoky Eyes Are Forever. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. Absolutely stunning. This is such a good palette. This is becoming one of my favorite palettes in my whole collection. Formula and color story are amazing. So yeah, love that one. Um, okay, here's another look that I did that was using two different palettes. Um, I really wanted to do, and I wore this one in a video, and you guys really complimented this makeup a lot. I was surprised it was very easy. Um, but I really enjoy how it turned out. So this is the Odin's Eye Hummingbird palette with the fancy face, which I absolutely love. So I was wearing this light matte blue in the crease. And then I was looking through my collection and I was like, where are all like the really, really light metallic blues? And I couldn't even really find one until I came across this. <laughs> And I haven't used this in a while. These are depotted ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, so I just used this blue shimmer all over the lid. And I'm trying to even remember what ColourPop palette this one was from. I actually don't even remember. It's possibly from one that was called like, it's a rainbow or something. It, it was a really old palette. It's it's discontinued. I can't even remember which one. Or it's possible that this shade is actually from the My Little Pony palette. Does anyone remember that? Yeah, I did de depot some of the shades. It might be from that one. Honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the shade does not exist anymore, but it's just a really pretty light metallic blue. It has like a bit of that cool toned silver effect. Gorgeous, I really liked it. And I'm glad I got use out of this because I've said this a million and a half times. I do not tend to reach for my depotted eyeshadows. So the fact that I pulled this palette out and that was like the only shade I could find in my collection, which was the exact color that I was envisioning. Like I really wanted to do that specific light blue look. I don't know, it just was like, I wanna do this. And that's all I could find. So it worked out, I'm pretty happy about that. 
anybody remember this old thing? <laughs> Does anyone else still have this palette? I feel like I'm one of the few people on YouTube who still owns this. I've watched a lot of declutter videos where people got rid of this. This is the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I don't buy from Jaclyn Hill or Morphe and haven't for very many, many years. Um, but I bought this when it first came out however many years ago that was. I don't even know. Um, but actually, no, I bought this one when it came to Ulta, which was still like four or five years ago. You know what? I still like the quality of this palette, even though there's no way I would buy this now. I, I like the quality. I think they're really, really good. So this was a really beautiful look, I thought. I just combined some of the matte browns and just did a very simple all matte brown smoky eye. And I'm pretty sure I did wear this in a video. So simple, but honestly, I think this was one of my favorites of the month as well. Um, I think, yeah, out of the looks that I've talked about so far, the one that I did with the Charlotte Tilbury green shadows with the purples from the Sigma New Mod and then the all matte brown look with this one, maybe two of my favorite looks that I did in this last month, I don't know. I'm just really enjoying doing this series so I can like keep track of the palettes that I'm using. And so I kept my list from June as well on my computer so that I know which palettes I used in June. So I'm trying to think, I think a couple of these I did mention last month, um, but yeah, I just kind of want to see what I reach for. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. Okay. A newer palette. This is the Poison Apple from Alien Cosmetics now called Unearthly Cosmetics. And I did film this look that I'm showing you here. It was a get ready with me talking about Project Pan Tips. So if you want to see that, you can check it out. This formula, amazing, like super intense. If you like high pigment, high foil, unearthly cosmetics, I'm impressed. All right, another newer palette. I also did film a look with this one. I did three looks. I filmed one of them. Um, I'll show you the one that I filmed. This is the Blend Bunny Dollhouse palette and I really enjoy it. I'm really glad I bought it. I think it is a gorgeous color story. Quality is great. If you want to know more, check out that video. And then another super easy look that I did was this matte, or no, this is a metallic green all over the lid. And I think I used a couple of these lighter mattes in the crease. I thought that one was really nice. And then another look that I did that I wore actually in a video that a lot of you guys commented on was using a bunch of the purples. So I used this shade, this shade, um, this dark purple, and then I combined these three metallics here. This one was really pretty. I really like how it turned out. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this palette. I'm, I'm very happy that I purchased it. I think the quality is great. And yeah, again, that is one of the ones that I did film a look with. All right, you're probably thinking, how many palettes can you possibly use in a month? <laughs> like I said, I think this was about like 35 days of makeup looks because a few of them were from the very end of June. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't use very many of the same palettes over and over again. Um, this one I only used once, but I'm glad I pulled it out because it's an older palette. It is the Urban Decay Born to Run. And I have to say, I've really enjoyed it. It makes me want to use this palette more. Again, this is what I've seen so many people declutter, but I think the quality is fantastic. So I did a really simple brown look using this all over the lid, which is the shade Smog, which is like one of Urban Decay's most like old school famous shades. Um, and then some of these matte browns, um, including this one in the crease. Super easy. But again, quality is really nice on this one. I still enjoy it. It's older, but I'm really happy that I used it. All right, here's another one that I did film a look and review and swatches. This is a newer one, the Nomad Fête de Provence palette. So again, you can check out that video for more info. And this is a beauty. I'm so happy that I bought this. I'll show you the look that I filmed. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And then I did a few other more simple looks. I did one where all I wore was these two shades. 
um, on the lid and in the crease. Again, one of my I'm in a hurry type looks, but I thought it was super, super pretty and definitely enjoyed it. And then another one that was a combination of these three. This one all over the lid is amazing. I really like how this palette is organized because I feel like if you want to kind of do simple, easy monochromatic looks, you could just do a look with all these, all these, all these. I don't know. And so that's what I did with this trio here. And it was a beautiful, like smoky, cool toned, this metallic shade, gorgeous love how that one turned out again that's one of my favorites of the month as well i think that one the one with the charlotte tilbury and the sigma new mod and i already forgot oh the one with the hummingbird palette and then that random color pop shadow those are some of my favorites all right this one i used twice and it is the sydney grace and temtalia radiant reflection light and again, I filmed one of these looks as well. Um, if you do like Get Ready With Me type videos, check out my makeup looks playlist because I've been trying to film more makeup tutorial, you know, tutorials or Get Ready With Me is like whatever. I enjoy watching those type of videos. So I've done, I think like four in the last month. So you can check out that playlist and they are all there. Um, I'll show you the one that I filmed with this palette and I love how it turned out. Very, very beautiful. And then another one that I didn't film, but again, absolutely love how it turned out was a combo of these shades here, these four. Wow, so pretty, like purpley, taupey. The Sydney Grace formula is gorgeous. I love it. It's super like intense pigmented, but the mattes blend easily. And they did have their Christmas in July sale and I ordered the Be Mine palette, which I said that I wanted to buy and I got it. It was 35% off, which was so awesome. Initially, they said that palettes were gonna be 25% off in their Christmas in July sale. And then I think the day of, they were like, oh, they're gonna be 35% off. I was like, that is such a good deal. So go Sydney Grace. I think this palette is amazing formula. So I'm very excited I bought another one of their palettes. Alrighty, two palettes left. The Sigma Enchanted palette. I used this one twice and man, this palette is good. Like I have a lot of good palettes, so. <laughs> You know, but that's why I'm doing this. I think it's really fun. So a really fun, more smoky look. Ooh, loved this one. This beautiful shade Cosmos all over the lid. And then I think I combined these three mattes in the crease. It was very, very easy, but really beautiful. This is a stunning palette. Um, and then a super easy one that I did. I just combined these two on the lid and then this light mauvey pink in the crease. Simple, but beautiful, loved it. Um, oh, I just remembered that there was another look that I did with the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> like I said, there were so many different eyeshadow looks of the month that I forgot. Um, it was a very, again, simple. This is what I do when I'm in a hurry. I just took these two pinky shimmers all over the lid in the crease and enjoyed it. I actually did a similar look last month with another one of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes and really enjoyed it. So, all right, one palette left. I only used this one once, but I love it. And this is the What's Up Beauty Geodes palette. They sent this to me in PR several months ago. I think this formula is really amazing. And the look that I did was using these like pinky and purple tones. This was more of a halo eye. And then I used the dark brown matte for like the inner and outer part of the halo eyes. So really love how this one turned out. Um, I kind of try to change my eyeshadow shapes a little bit, but I kind of do the same different shapes or the same shapes because that's what looks good on the way my eyes are. Um, so I do like how halo eyes are. I think I need to do that more. Um, but I usually do like matte crease shade, dark on the outer corner, and then lighter to medium shimmers here. I just find that that's what looks good on me. So I, I admit I don't experiment a ton. Um, maybe I should try like a cut crease or something. I haven't tried that in a long time, but 
I just find that when it comes to makeup, I like to do what works for me and what I just enjoy the way that it looks. And everybody's eyes are a totally like different shape and size. Some people have bigger eyes. My eyes are on the smaller side. So I do want to do makeup looks that maybe make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Um, so that may be why some of the other like eyeshadow shapes that other people do may look really good on them because they have much bigger eyes but I feel like that wouldn't necessarily look good on me. So yeah, anyway, side note there. But that is it for this video. That was a lot of makeup to share, a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And if you wanna see the ones that I filmed, you can check those out. Let us know, do you keep track of the eyeshadows that you use? I think this is so much fun. And yeah, so check out the eyeshadow palette playlist if you do wanna see more. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.